Welcome to the Introduction to the History of Medicine, Third Term 2018. I'm Kirsten Morshili, and I will be your primary instructor for this course. Now I'd like to take a moment and go through some of the main goals of this course. We will be exploring some of the key themes and approaches within the history of medicine, the history of healing, and the history of public health. This course is a bit different from some of our other courses, which take a chronological approach to developments within the history of medicine. Instead, in this course, we will take particular themes, ideas, and concepts and deal with them in weekly modules. The goal is to offer you a sense of many of the different ways historians approach primary and secondary sources. For example, we'll look at the Black Death, the terrible scourge that attacked Europe and Asia in the mid 14th century. These are lead crosses from a plague burial site. When we're talking about primary sources, we're talking about original sources from the past. These might be published journal articles, original manuscripts, photographs, diaries, newspapers, or even radio and film, like this health pass issued in 1720 in the midst of another plague epidemic. Secondary sources are texts written about history by scholars using primary sources. We'll look at how historians, such as Susan Reverby on the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, evaluate primary sources and use them as evidence to build arguments. And in turn, how they use the knowledge created by their peers in combination with primary evidence. In other words, this course will give you the nuts and bolts for thinking about how to analyze and write about history. It will provide you the means for thinking about history as a way of knowing a way of asking questions about how we know what we know and how we remember the past. We'll also be introducing you to key themes in the history of medicine, healing, and public health, so that by the time you're done, you'll be able to address those key themes yourself, understand them, and evaluate them. Our weekly assignments, discussions, and lectures will help you see that there are many different ways of doing history. You'll find that approaches from social history, cultural history, intellectual history, gender history, and others all have something to offer. As we go along, ask yourself, why is one approach more valuable than another for a particular question? What does each reveal about why change happened in the past? And how might a different approach lead you to an alternate conclusion? I look forward to exploring these and other questions with you in class. Please visit our program's website to learn more about our introduction to the history of medicine and other courses in our online program.